Thailand outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, the news digest program, broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at n b t p u r i t y c h i o t h I'm Kachang w i t j a t i t Today we have three captivating stories showcasing Thailand's vibrant culture, innovative festivals, and significant governmental initiatives. And first up, we take a journey along the j a o p r a y a River in Bangkok. Where the Tourism Authority of Thailand or TAT has just launched the w i k j i t j a o p r a y a 2023, and uh, this extravagant light event features light and sound shows, projection mappings, fireworks, and cultural performances at five main locations along the river. Now, running until New Year's Eve, and this 31 nights event is part of the Thailand Winter Festival, and is expected to draw tourists from around the world. And each location offers a unique experience, with highlights like a 3D laser show at Rama 8 Bridge, and the lights mapping show at Watarun. And this dazzling event uh, really culminates in the amazing Thailand Countdown 2024 at Watarun. Uh, it promises an unforgettable end of the year. Next, we are talking about Thailand's famous Songkran Festival, which is set to go global next year. The National South Power Strategy Committee, or NSPSC, uh, led by uh, p u e t a i Party leader p a t o n g t a n Chinawat, plans to transform Songkran into a month-long global water festival. And this expansion aims to boost Thailand's soft power and attract international tourists with events held nationwide throughout April. And the committee has drafted a budget of 5.1 billion baht to support various cultural. And a tourism initiatives, with the extended Songkran festival as the highlight. And uh, this ambitious project is really expected to significantly boost the Thai economy and showcase Thailand's unique cultural heritage on a global stage. And we hope that this event, which will take place next year, will attract more tourists to Thailand from around the world. And in our final story today, we take you to the northeast of Thailand. Where Prime Minister s e t a t a w i s i n was chairing his first mobile cabinet meeting in uh, the province of n o n g m o l a m p u r and this visit is part of an inspection trip to a cluster of five provinces in the Upper Northeast, focusing on 81 projects, and this valued at about 7.4 billion baht. And these projects include infrastructure and logistics development, drug suppression and prevention. It also discussed poverty eradication and agricultural technology upgrades. Now, the cabinet would consider proposals to extend the special economic development zone um, in Nong Khai Province, among other significant initiatives. The prime minister's visit also included a stop at a community-based rehabilitation program for drug addicts, highlighting the government's commitment to social welfare. And development in the region. And that's all for today's edition of Thailand Outlook. From the dazzling lights of w i t i t j a o p r a y a to the global expansion of Songkran, and the Prime Minister's proactive approach in the Northeast, we have covered a range of stories that really showcase the diversity and uh, dynamism of Thailand. Thank you for joining us, and I will see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm k r a t a n g with Dot Tip. Sorry, c r a p The National Science and Technology Development Agency, or NSTDA, has moved to incorporate modern agricultural technologies into sticky rice farming as part of Thailand's broader biocircular green, or BCG, economy agenda. The NSTDA's National Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, or Biotech, initiated the BCG Naga Belt Road project. As a way to apply the BCG model to a specific target product, in this case, glutinous rice, also known as sticky rice. The BCG Naga Belt Road enjoys collaboration from academic partners, including c h u l a l u n g k o n University and Udon Thani Rajapat University. In addition to the Bank for Agriculture and Agricultural Cooperatives (Siam Kubota Corporation Company Limited), Gaset Inno Company Limited. 
the Ministry for Agriculture and Cooperatives, and local administrative offices and organizations. The project focuses on ways to create added value from agricultural production to product innovation and the creative and tourism economies. The project, which has been launched in four provinces, focuses on four areas, transferring modern agricultural technology to glutinous rice farmers, strengthening the glutinous rice value chain in waste upcycling, developing a creative economy based on glutinous rice cultural heritage and resources, and establishing an enabler system to drive the BCG model. The result is high-value, eco-friendly products that complement cultural tourism and support the livelihoods of glutinous rice farmers and businesses along the value chain. The BCG Naga Belt Road project is part of Thailand's broader BCG agenda to transform Thailand's agriculture system to achieve three highs, namely high efficiency, high standards, and high income, while balancing economic, social, and environmental goals. Pilot projects powered by a public-private people-professional or 4P partnership have been launched in five provinces, Rajburi, Lampang, Khonkan, Jantaburi, and Patalung. The central idea is to use technology to improve production efficiency, add value to farm products, upcycle agricultural waste, create an agricultural value chain from upstream to downstream, from production to processing, connect supply and demand, and link agricultural activities to the service sector to boost tourism, which should lead to long-term economic growth in each province. The 9th Princesses Cup Thailand takes place this December 7th to 17th. Spotlighting gender equality, the event will feature the first FEIC Youth Cup and Princesses Cup Thailand 2023, along with a dog fun run, flea market, and music by the Royal Bangkok Symphony Orchestra. Entry is free at the Royal Stable Unit of Thailand, BTS Sanam Bao. For more information, visit Facebook Princess Cup Official.